Mr. Speaker, I wish to congratulate the senior minister in the office of the president with responsibility for finance, the most astute and dignified Dr. Ashni Singh, for presenting a people's oriented budget, which will bring benefit to all the people. Mr. Speaker, it is said that education is the key to success. And so in presenting my first speech, I will start with the successful key. Mr. Speaker, I will begin with infrastructural development in my region for 2023. Mr. Speaker, I have sat there and listened about comment that education minister is only building building. Mr. Speaker, we cannot put our babies and our youths on the tent to learn. We have to make learning environment conducive. Uncomfortable. Mr. Speaker, rehabilitation was done on four nursery school catering for the babies of this country, six primary schools and one primary laboratory. It also provides for the growing population. One primary was extended and construction of two new nursery schools, two rehabilitated inclusive of one extended secondary school. Mr. Speaker, those schools are as follow. Lima Nursery, Rehabilitation. Watton Hall Nursery, Rehabilitation. Martindale, Anna Regina Old Nursery. Syracuse in the Pomeroo Nursery. All those are rehabilitated. Temet Manor Primary, Abrams Creek, in the Pomeroon, Friendship Primary, Sparta Primary, all in the Pomeroon except Sparta, Sifi Noons Primary Lab, Mashabo Primary. Sifi Noons Primary was extended. Anna Regina Secondary, Rehab and Extension. 8th of May, secondary rehab. Mashabo Nursery, Mr. Speaker, new building. We never had it there. Yuli Nursery, new, Mr. Speaker. We have nursery school at ULE, but it was extended and yet it's overcrowded. So a new primary was constructed. Abramsville Secondary, Mr. Speaker, the new state-of-the-art secondary school in Region 2 is complemented, is completed and commissioned. And, Mr. Speaker, we were told it's one, it's ten of that kind of school in the world. We are very fortunate, yep, yep, Mr. Yep, yep. Speaker. Mr. Speaker works on roof floors and window, along with the construction of sanitary blocks. Walk away, Mr. Speaker. We cannot allow our children now to puddle in the mud. Trestles, sheds, fences, and drainage network were also done to promote conducive and safer learning environment. Mr. Speaker, Accommodation for students and staff are necessities to life. It enhances comfort and relief stress for both groups. And so, Mr. Speaker, four rehabilitated dormitories for the secondary schools, two new and one rehabilitated teacher's quarters were catered for in the region's budget. Education delivery, Mr. Speaker, 
and throughout my speech, I will speak about delivery and achievements. Because if we could not have delivered and we did not achieve, we cannot ask for more money. Mr. Speaker, I must indicate that all dormitories receive fire equipment and linen, textbooks and exercise books, furniture and school feeding supplies were also successfully distributed. ATHM's head mistress and masters received cash grants to purchase teacher teaching learning materials to enhance the classroom. Mr. Speaker, a total of 12,848 students were overjoyed in receiving their cash grant of $35,000 each, which is now raised to $40,000. Mr. Speaker, you can see happiness in the faces of those children. Happy faces. The Breakfast for Success programs, Mr. Speaker, was effectively distributed. 805 breakfasts to grade six students in 14 coastland primary schools. This breakfast will be extended in this year's budget to grade four, five stud um, students. Achievement for education, Mr. Speaker. The NSA, CXC, and CAPE were successfully completed. But I need to give this Honorable House some information on the NGSA for 2023. Mr. Speaker, the top student for NGSA hails from Parta Primary School, a, co a school in our beautiful Cinderella County. The best performing primary school in Region 2 for NGSA 2023 is Aurora Primary with 70.27 percentage, followed by Better Hope Primary with 70 percent. Comrade Speaker, why should we not give our children better accommodation, learning co accommodation. Mr. Speaker, CSEC 2023. Mr. Speaker, I heard children are being downplayed. Children do not perform. Well, Mr. Speaker, I am elated to once again announce the name Alex Muntaz of Anna Regina Secondary School, who was awarded the most outstanding technical and pre-vocational candidate in the Caribbean, Mr. Speaker. He got 27 subjects, 23 grade ones, and four grade twos. This is commendable for a region like Esikyobo Coast. Comrade Speaker, when I heard this result, I was dismayed because in my time we were struggling with five subjects GCE. Comrade Speaker, Mr. Speaker, these are the opportunities provided to the youth of this country by our caring government. Anna Regina Secondary School celebrated a school of the year, 2023. Keep, Mr. Speaker, a total of four students wrote the exam. Three students in year one and one student in year two. 13 subjects were offered, five subjects in year one and eight subjects in year two. 
Mr. Speaker. That school, Anna Regina Secondary School, saw a 100% pass rate in all subjects area. Mr. Speaker, our region, Cinderella region, is shining. And I want to say to this house, investment breeds achievements. Comrade Speaker, one student, Ms. Kunt, Ms. Kunti Singh, from the Abramsville Secondary School was cup 18 grade ones and five grade twos, and she was placed fourth in the country, Mr. Speaker. These are the performance of our children who will be the future leader in executable course. Mr. Speaker, I can see that the 2024 budget will extremely benefit our students in the far-flung areas. Mr. Speaker, talking about the Gold Scholarship, I want to say the Gold Scholarship is gold for us, the women in the outline regions. Mr. Speaker, in Region 2, 1,111 scholarship was, order, was awarded through that online academy. What a great initiative. Our region was labeled as a rice-growing community. Comrade, Mr. Speaker, the region will now see more academic and better sowing in whatever area, whether it be rice, whether it be cash crop, whether it be ground provision, because when we sow, we sow educated. Comrade Speaker, the women and mothers can stay in their own confine of their home and qualify themselves. No rental will have to be um, catered for. They don't have to leave their children struggling on their own to just to get themselves academically elevated. Thanks to our government. Thank you, Minister Priya. Mr. Speaker, and I love training in whatever field. As I earlier said, education is the key to success. And for those who cannot have academical qualification, we have other areas that they can excel in. Mr. Speaker, with the Women Innovative Innovation and Investment Network, the WIN, I want to tell you, this on, say to this Honorable House, that 465 women participated in an online and face-to-face -face training in the following areas. Garment construction, graphic, patient care, information technology, project management, events planning, entrepreneurship, and business proposal, resulting in some selection for patient care, nursing, and laboratory technician. At that pause, Honorable Member, you need an extension to conclude. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to ask that the Honorable Member be given five minutes to conclude her presentation. Thank you, Minister Tishira. And well, remember, you may continue. And Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Five minutes. Mr. Speaker, 35 of those women who completed their business registration were recipients of cash grant of $35,000 each and operates their own businesses. 
Board of Industrial Training, BIT. Mr. Speaker, a number of 503 persons were trained under the BIT program, which consists of 302 males and 201 females. Under the following areas, welding and fabrication, motor vehicle servicing and repair, small engine repair, information technology, office administration, general building construction, data operation, garment construction, block making, refrigeration and AC repair, heavy duty mechan mechanic, fitting and machining, auto electrician, and boat building. Comrade speak, Mr. Speaker, sorry, custom to my comrade, excuse me. We're living in a riverine area and boat building was very essential for that program. And I now come to touch a little on housing. Mr. Speaker, Region 2, like every other region in Guyana, has a growing population, and there are demand for houses. And so infrastructural works are progressing in three new housing schemes, namely on the Nimin region, phase four, Plantation Boxton and Plantation St. Joseph. In addition to the charity squatting area, which have now been regular, regularized, and almost 100 persons would have received their titles. Mr. Speaker, the old schemes on the Nimin Phase 1 and 2 and 3, Lima Sands and Charity, the ministry continues to resolve inherited issue where poor people's lands were taken away under the previous administration. And when I was vice chairman, I myself had to intervene and engage the Minister of Housing as soon as he took office. Mr. Speaker, the, to, to date, a total of 719 house lots were allocated. It's only three years, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, 2024 budget will enable us double our more, double or more our allocation. Mr. Speaker, we do not have to import lands. Every eligible adult can own their own home in region number two. Mr. Speaker, water is life. Installation and distribution pipelines are done in 12 areas on the coast and pumping assembly at Dry Shore Pump Station and Mashabo were upgraded. Repairs and renovation to Lima Treatment Plant, Collin and Somerset Pump Station, the construction of a new water treatment plant at Ondanimeen is 60% completed. Drilling of new well at Lima treatment plant is in process. Mr. Speaker, residents will soon have better water. Mr. Speaker, the drilling and insulation distribution pipe at Kapui, an Amerindian community, for the first time is completed, and, this, and same is 80% completed at Hackney in the Pomeroon area. Mr. Speaker, five Amerindian communities, Akubini, Barakaro, Kabukuburi, Karoab, in the extreme end of the Pomeroon, and Bethany will soon receive the same distribution service. Mr. Speaker, this is care for the people. Services are reaching to every people, every person. Roads, Mr. Speaker, rehabilitation work was done to the main public road within Supernam to Bushla. 21 miscellaneous roads were upgraded within Good Hope, Pomona, NDC. And another 33 community roads were done in collaboration with the Ministry of Housing within the five NDCs and five more community roads by the RDC. Securing our river dam and sea defense, Mr. Speaker, maintenance work were done to the eastern embankment of Pomeroon in two lots. Maintenance was done along the Dartmouth, Temet Manor, Resource, Kosher, and Sudi. also. Mr. Speaker, construction of Reprapsy Defense at Larry Souvenir, Good Hope, Evansville, Phase 1, and Collin. Comrade Speaker, this is progress. Drainage and irrigation, construction of revetment at Golden Fleece, Charity, Hussadam, Phil Voting, and Somerset Cross Canal. Construction of Tail Wall at Evergreen and Bounty Hall construction of timber bridge at Koja. Mr. Speaker, these are just a few deliveries and achievements of the 2023 budget.
with the passing of the 2024, Region 2 will see an overall advancement. Mr. Speaker. Honorable Member, your time is up. Thank you, sir. Excellent, excellent.